Hello friends and welcome to A Shot of Code. Today we're going to be looking at the Parcel Bundler and in particular um, building custom elements with it. Now the whole thing about Parcel Bundler is that it's zero config so there's a lot of um, defaults set up in there and one of those is to, um, to transpile from ES6 to ES5 uh, using Babel um, and it just does this automatically for you which is which is which is good um, but we run into a problem with custom elements um, certainly um, in the the current and latest spec the v1 spec for custom elements they need to be in es6 if they are es5 they are not going to work um, in your browser there is um, there is ways around that um, and i'll show you one of them here now but um, yeah, this this is um, just so to be aware of basically with Parcel and and then how we can uh, how we can resolve it. So I've got I've got Visual Studio Code open here. Let's um, create a um, basic web component. So I'll bring in Polymer Lit Element. Um, and then we can just bring that in here with lit element and HTML. Okay, and then we'll just create a class, my component. Just simply get that to render out a test stream here. So, to um, parcel bundler with um, custom elements or web components. Specify my component and my comp, and that should um, be displayable for us. So let's create just an index HTML. component in here right um, let's add parcel bundler as well and then if I just move this over and bring the browser up um, so just to show that again we've got a little component um, it's just going to put this header 2 up on the page um, and there's our page there so just wait for the parcel bundle to finish adding and then we can try and get that um, to display okay that's good so oops so in here we do parcel and we give it our entry point which is index.html so it'll go and find main and by default, it will convert that into ES5. So if I now try and view this over here and look in the console, just there we will see, we get this error. Class constructs a lit element cannot be evoked without new. And this is because it's in ES5. Now, one way to get around this is um, to specify um, which browsers we're actually going to be targeting um, and parcel will pick this up from your 
um, configuration. So in here we can say browsers list and give it an array um, and we can specify things like Chrome um, greater than version um, 46 maybe. Um, so what we're looking for here is to tell parcel um, these are the targets um, and you don't need to do compilation because they understand ES6 so it's it's intelligent enough to, to, to work that out so it's no longer doing the compilation um, and we can see our, um, our our component displaying correctly now so um, you can look at what other options there are for browser list browsers list we bring that up um, you know so depending on quite what your target is there's a whole load of other options here in terms of saying percentages and versions and like last two versions um, you know certainly for us we can't do the last two versions of things because it's going to pull in some browsers that don't have ES6 um, so in this case um, just specifying Chrome greater than 46 I think um, you know that that shows where Chrome got the ability um, for ES 2015 you know, if I do greater than Chrome 30 43 uh, we'll get our error back again because in in those versions 43 44 it couldn't handle ES 2015 so parcel is now um, compiling that to ES5 for us um, so there you go um, I hope that was interesting um, if you want to see more of these videos then uh, feel free to click on that subscribe there uh, thanks very much bye